Hi friends, my name is Pankas and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do garage parking by using your side mirrors as a reference point. One thing which I want you to remember before I start the parking is that one minor mistake is allowed per parking. And this is very important in case of garage parking. I will tell you why in the later stage. So let's start the video now. Hi friends, that's the map for your smart yard test. And in case of garage parking, you will have two to three three slot to choose from i would prefer to go for the center one in case if you want to park here the first thing which you need to keep in mind is where you need to stop so that's the point where you need to stop okay in case you want to come park here you need to stop at least here near to the first parking slot you need to make sure your mirror is near to this line okay and the second point what i want you to keep in mind is these two points so just keep these two points in your mind okay this is going to be the reference point which you're going to look at your mirror so before we start the actual video i want you to show how to adjust your side mirror because it's very important for the garage parking if you're using your side mirror as a reference point mirror adjustment is very much important in car parking and it becomes more important when you want to use your side mirror as a reference point so the mirror could be adjusted at the beginning of smart yard test or before you are about to start your parking so let's see what are the key points you need to keep in mind when you want to adjust your mirror so while adjusting the mirror for the car parking what you need to do is you need to make sure you can see both the door handle knob okay and the indicator at the top here okay near to the edge and the you should be able to see around 20 percent of your car and 80 percent on the road so that's for the mirror so for garage parking you need to keep the car as close as possible to the center dotted line and this is the position if you want to do a parking here you need to stop your car somewhere here and you should be able to see the point of your parking in your car somewhere here near to this sections okay and that's going to be the reference point now before you start parking let me tell you a few things which you need to keep in your mind the first is your time start only when you put the indicator and the back gear so once you are in this position you need to stop your car check if your mirror are adjusted if you still need to readjust it this is the time to do it okay remember one thing your parking time only start when you put the indicator and the gear to reverse so, that's, so once you are ready for your parking put the indicator do the six point check and move your car slowly the key for the garage parking is how slow you can drive so you need to go as slow as possible you have enough time you got three minutes to do your parking and that's more than enough this is going to be your reference point when you're taking your car back slowly as soon as this point disappear from your mirror that's the time you need to rotate your wheel toward your right hand side immediately and make sure your wheel is moving at that time okay so start taking the car toward your back as slow as possible so as soon as that point disappear from your skin you need to rotate it toward your right hand side now get the car as slow as possible and you need to make sure you're close to this line and without touching it drive slowly that's the key for the garage parking once you see that it's already gone inside now you need to look toward your left hand side mirror this side once your car is half in now you need to rotate the wheels make it straight see here now once you see this has appeared you need to make it straight and take it the backward and i will tell you when you need to stop as soon as you see that you this black uh, the yellow line is just beneath your front door handle knob that's the time you need to stop your car 
now don't hurry to put your car into the parking now you need to check and make sure your car is inside the parking once that's done you can put the car into the parking and pull the brake as soon as you pull the brake the monitor screen would ask you to exit the park that was a perfect scenario but that doesn't happen in reality sometimes we do the cutting too early and sometimes we do it too late so don't panic in those situations you can still do a error correction and that's what i'm going to show you next so let's see if you have done a cutting too early this mistake is easy to correct what you need to do is just rotate the wheel toward your left hand side a little bit and drive slowly once you think that your car is in the right position you can take it back the first one was the easy one the problem comes when you do a cutting late in garage parking that's a bit hard so in case you you have realized that you have done cutting late okay so don't panic you still have that one option to use your minor mistake so if you know that you have done the late cutting before touching the other side yellow line what you need to do is take the car in the front and you can take it back but make sure you do it before you touch any solid yellow line remember one minor mistake is allowed in per parking so you can still do it once that's done you are sure that your car is parked inside the parking you can see this yellow line if you see it on the beneath of this so once your parking is done you can put your car into the parking and press the brake as soon as you day do that the monitor screen would ask you to exit the parking and again you need to do you all your basic put the indicator and do the six point check and take the car out thank you for watching the video if you have liked it please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any question please write it down in the comment box i'll be more than happy to answer your questions thank you for watching see you in my next video